Good morning, folks. It's the 23rd of December, and we were promised by the evil ones a, a surprise. We've been promised it since October. A surprise Christmas gift on Christmas Eve. I've managed to free up a little bit of memory on the phone. I'm waiting for backup. And then I'm going to clear my phone's memory and go back to campaigning again, telling you stories, making jokes. And I'm going to do more Bible reading, too. We really need to study the scriptures together a little bit more. I'm going to do short clips on the Bible. It doesn't seem like anybody really cares about the Bible anymore. My Catholic friends tell me nobody reads that anymore. Well, if you want to be king, and if you want to be president, you're going to read the Bible. It is the book of the law, and it was mandated that whoever was king would read the book of the law. And so usually he read it once a year. Not only that, but the book of the law was read once a year to the entire congregation out loud. I'm getting a little phlegmy. I've been trying to fight the colds off, whatever's going around. My immune system getting whacked like everybody else's. It's raining like crazy here and it usually doesn't rain. Forgive me, but I got to do this. I know it's a little bit rude. I haven't been recording specifically because I ran out of memory on this phone. On this phone. And that's not going to work, but it sure is nice to get a little relief from this. I think it's honey lemon. What I want you to do, I want you to sit down and read your Bibles. If you have not read your Bible, you're not going to understand what I'm talking about. As a matter of fact, you should really have read it two or three times to be able to understand the advanced lessons that I'm giving you. I do attend a Bible study. Um, they know the Bible quite well. I usually like to joke and I like to to sort of taunt women and tell them, you know, no woman's ever going to know the Bible better than I know it. Well, that's only partly true. Some of the women in this group really know the Bible and contribute quite a bit. And some have got some gifts that I'm, I'm envious of. I wish I had some of that stuff going for me. But I got what I got. I was issued what I was issued. And if Yahweh, Creator Father, wanted me to have that, he'd have issued it to me. And that's all there is to it. So I accept my station in life, my low position. Yes, I am a member of the servant class, the servant race. But yet, I want to be your benevolent dictator. You need me if you want your republic back. You need a good hatchet man. And I promise to wield that axe like you've never seen it wielded before, baby. I'm going to chop about 80-85% of this government out of the way. We're also going to do away with all of these supposed state governments which aren't organic either. They're all corporations, interlocking corporations. You don't have a constitution. You don't have proper courts. There ain't no common law courts. There's no rule of law here. It's really an incredibly horrible jungle in which the predators rule the roost. The attorneys being chief among the predators. They're not number one, but they're number two. And my profession, psychology, is probably number three. And number one are the guys that you worship in the white coats that you think are real doctors, and they aren't. I consider them drug company prostitutes. Big pharma whores. I consider them mere technicians. Oh, oh, Dr. Kent, he's not a real doctor. Man, I heard that spoken of so many times in a church group earlier. Because the parents didn't know Jack. Yeah, we've all been dumbed down. I'm right there with you. I have had a rough time learning and growing as well. Because almost everything we've been taught is a lie. You can't get away from the lies. They've done this purposely to us. Our CIA did it. The world's biggest publishing company is our own CIA. 
It's not constitutional. Your FBI is not constitutional. Your ATF isn't constitutional. Your IRS, hell, they didn't even vote on the 16th Amendment, much less pass it and ratify it. It's immoral as hell. When I'm president, that goes away. We're going to have level playing fields. Not only that, ain't going to be no corporations. Limited liability and all that's got to go away. Why? You want to be free men? You want to be free women? Well, then fine. It requires you to be responsible, especially the women out there. You seem to be allergic to responsibility. Grow up. Become responsible. Become adults. You're like children, little girls. You refused to be responsible. Oh, you're going to blame the men because Adam was to blame. Baby, I got news for you. It says right in the New Testament, the man was not deceived. The woman was deceived. That's right. It is on Eve. It's not on Adam. That's not the way the Bible reads, folks. Now, don't get me wrong. The way we read the Bible is Eve screwed up and Adam loved his wife so much he couldn't stand to live without her. So he decided he was going to take that road with her. He accepted the fate that she had sealed for both of them. In other words, Eve got Adam killed. It's the same way today. The women will get us, get us killed if we let them run this country anymore. Look at what they do. We got to do the feel good stuff. That feels good. Let's do the feel good stuff. Oh, we got to let all those people in. Oh, we have to give them money. That feels good. And you talk about women were denied the right to vote. So show me. Show me in the Constitution, in the Bill of Rights, where men have the right to vote. I'm waiting. I don't have enough memory here to wait you out on that one. But I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to find it. Why? Because voting was left up to the states for a reason. To keep it local. To have good control on it. Local rule. The women decided they had to have the right to vote. So they got it. They marched for it and they got it federally. And once they did that, they screwed things up. What's the first thing they did? They took away the booze. Yeah, that's right. They took away alcohol. And what happened as a result of that? Well, you had organized crime, bootlegging. And your government actually poisoned the people. That's right. They poisoned the alcohol and killed people. So if you think your government's not willing to kill you, just look at their past history. And then ultimately they gave rise to the most organized crime of all. An unconstitutional law enforcement agency, which is now your Stasi, your secret police, your deep state, which as that black gentleman said in Africa, is Israel. I just can't believe, but he called it, he calls it right. Now, does he have it perfect? Not quite. And I'm going to tell you right now, I agree with Henry Kissinger. Yeah, I can't believe I'd agree with Henry ever. Henry said something very wise, but a bit cryptic. He said, in order for there to be world peace, Israel would have to cease being a nation. I agree with Henry. Except, what does Henry mean when he says Israel? Who is Israel? In Henry's eyes, who is Israel? What is Israel? Answer me that. This is helping, so I'm going to stick with it. Sorry about that. Do you really want your nation back? Do you want to live? Do you want to survive? Do you want your children to survive? You have genocidal maniacs running your country and the world. And you take it. Who started the recent genocide? President Chump. That's what I call him, Chump. C-H-U-M-P. 
Why? He started that crap. He was the one that ushered that stuff in. This first go-around, or first part of the first go-around, it killed a billion people. I'm just taking a good guess. It's hard to find out because we don't have good stats. We're not allowed to know any of the truth. You trust this media to report something? You trust the universities to teach the truth? Look, when I'm president, this public education goes by the wayside. The centralized public education is gone. There's no cabinet seat anymore. There's no financing, no funds for publication, public education from the central government whatsoever. There's no student loans, no grants. Why? Do you look at, look at the product? Look at the results. Do you trust those people with your children? If you do, you're an idiot. You're an imbecile. You're dumber than anything I've seen. So you take the, the free way out, the cheap way out. Cost you your whole country. Cost you everything you have. Yeah. Don't go for anything that's free. I know, I promised free stuff in a couple of videos just a little bit ago. It's not quite free. I said free battle rifles. That's what we give to our militia members. We're going to issue them just like they do in Switzerland. You're going to get that rifle for your life. You're required to maintain it. That's right. And you are going to get trained on it. And you will be a member of the militia in good standing here. By God, we're going to take it away from you. Yeah. And when a police officer, when a law enforcement officer, when a sheriff, a sheriff's sheriff deputy has problems, he should be able to just signal to the men nearby who should be members of the militia in good standing, like all proper citizens will be. And they should assist them on the spot. So, the same with the Border Patrol guys. Each one of them should be assigned about 50 to 100 militia members. They won't be getting killed anymore. Militia members watching the backs. With full, full battle rifles ready to go. The Border Patrol agent shouldn't even have to carry a, a, an armament. He should have one on himself. But he shouldn't need it because there should be enough men backing up with guns in their hands ready that there's no flag. Oh, and I heard a wonderful idea on the radio today. Now, I had the idea quite a while back myself. But the, uh, the talk show host belittled the fellow who was retiring from the Space Force. He belittled him. Why is that? If anybody's syndicated... They're CIA Mockingbird. You can't be syndicated without having the government stamp of approval. And if you want to be syndicated, well, then you're going to have to have the government stamp of approval. So you're going to have to carry water for those boys, the CIA. They ain't no truth even on your top conservative radio shows. Everyone's a jackpot, man. They're horrible. They are all horrible. So, as president, I would go to my Congress and say, I want you to declare a limited war with Mexico. I want you to give me the authority. You see, you're not commander-in-chief until the Congress has basically drafted you, called upon you, said, we want war, and it's a limited war or it's an unlimited war. I want a limited war. I just want special forces, and I want my army. Special forces are going to go down there and clean up the cartel mess, take out the trash, and even go after some of their corrupt politicians. And then the army is going to go down and occupy Mexico. We don't need a wall. We'll just use the whole country. And we're also going to take the land that runs directly straight off the border the bottom of Arizona, straight across. We're going to take all that land from Mexico as a buffer zone. 
Mexico wanted to sell that to us a long time ago, but our Congress was a bunch of dumbasses. They wouldn't seal the deal. They wouldn't pay Mexico and buy the land that was offered when they should have done it. Arizona was would have had a port state, port city rather already. And we're going to get that. We're going to take it. Yeah, the cost of administering in Mexico is going to be expensive. So our army needs to be compensated. So we will take that. Also, we will develop Mexico's oil resources for them. We'll put them to work. We'll pay their laborers properly. And we will build a pipeline from central Mexico up to that newly found port city that's south of Yuma on the Sea of Cortez on the new part of America. Yeah, we're going to build a refinery. We're going to build the best refinery in the world there. Well, it'll happen. And we don't need to build a wall. That was a sucker move. What, you think that a wall is going to help you? <laughs> the Berlin Wall. What do you think they told those people over there? Come on, folks. It doesn't